channel if you're new to my channel welcome and if you haven't subscribed why don't you subscribe now don't forget to hit that notification button so that you can get updates for me every time I upload videos so today I'm doing my first impression on the Daisy times Katie and those of colors collaboration and I got a few of the items I didn't get all of them um, I got the girls which is the eyeshadow and uh, a liquid lipstick and the highlighter so when I got the the, the package first thing I saw was this which is the card that they have and also you've got the red color well the fiery red color orangey red color and the nude area and then you have this little card that comes with the with the palette and just telling you this little card actually tells you how to use the eyeshadow which I think is very very good I think it's very important for um, companies to let us know how to use the eyeshadows because some of the eyeshadows are meant to be used wet and some of them are meant to be used dry so in the collection I got the girls which is the eyeshadow palette the packaging is really gorgeous I love the rose gold packaging and um, it's got their signature on the package and the palette this is what the palette looks like it's such a gorgeous palette the packaging is really really nice really really fancy I love the packaging and also this will really be a good gift uh, for Christmas so if you are in interested in finding out if it's actually a good product um, just keep on watching and we'll talk more about the eyeshadow the eyeshadow palette contains four eyeshadows the palette has got a mirror which I think is quite handy and also it's got four eyeshadows I've already swatched them on Instagram if you don't follow me on Instagram please do I do swatch first on Instagram before I film the video and we've got the first color here which is Suze and then we've got the next color here which is Nolly and we've got this color which is a greenish gold color uh, harpoon and then we've got this color called Torbison I don't know how to describe um, the color Sue's here and harpoon here are meant to be used wet and this color which is called Nolly and Torbison are meant to be used dry you actually have tried using Suze dry is actually very intense even if you apply it dry and they've also said that you need to apply these eyeshadows with your finger and also they've got the highlighter which is um, they've got two highlighters actually the, the got one called Fuego which I didn't get and I actually got Miramay uh, Miramay the packaging is the same as the eyeshadow um, palette and it's got a mirror as well and the highlighter is gorgeous I can't wait to try it I only got one I wanted to try one and I got uh, the one called hot fire it's um, a really gorgeous um, liquid lipstick I need an angel.
finished look and using the Daisy and Katie Dose of Colors collaboration uh, collection. I'm, going to, I'm just going to talk a little bit about the product that I use. I'm going to first talk about the eyeshadows. I only used two eyeshadows. Obviously, I couldn't use all of them. I'll do more looks on the other ones because I really want to try tall business. Um, I tried these two colors. I really actually like Sue's very very much the reason why I like this is because it's very vibrant um, I, it's really good for the inner corners for my skin tone I can even use it on my lid if I wanted this a bright bright look and cut crease I really like this I also like a harpoon harpoon really goes well if you use it very wet like it goes really really nice and Sue's I don't think it's necessary to use it wet to be honest and you can actually easily use Sue's with a brush it goes still it goes really well with the brush but however harpoon uh, I, I don't think it works with a brush I tried using it with a brush because I was trying to do like a cut crease but it didn't work I ended up just just using Sue's where I did the cut crease but it does say that these eyeshadows are meant to be used with the finger the other eyeshadows I haven't used so I can't tell you eyeshadows are nice I like the the, the packaging makes makes the price make make makes up for the price because packaging is really cute they really took their time that the detail and everything is well thought of um, I would say you only get four eyeshadows for 28 pounds but I think the packaging makes up for the money that you're paying for it right? um, let's be honest uh, if you're buying this as a gift your your the packaging you're paying for the packaging as well so the highlighter I use it's mirror may uh, mirror may is a more of a champagne kind of gold no not gold um, it's, it's kind of like a champagne color and I really really like mirror me one thing I like about that the mirror me is that it has this wet look to it it looks very very wet even me looking at it in person it's not very vibrant in terms of it's looking wet but not too much to the point where it's too overpowering and I do like it because uh, a lot of people don't like their highlight to be like how and and I only do that for my videos and for pictures they're great for pictures but on an everyday look you, you don't want to go for those kind of highlights some people do but not everyone likes it and I think it's vibrant enough and it's got like this wet look to it and I really really like it and then the last product that I used was the fiery orange red product I was really scared of using this color however I would not be using this color with this makeup look this is good for like the look I, I did is good for pictures and for videos and everything um for this liquid lipstick I'll probably go um with a like a nice bold liner um and probably with Nolly under and this color when I first applied this color and before it completely dried it was quite sticky and I was like oh my gosh it's not going to be one of those sticky uncomfortable ones but as soon as it dried I was actually doing other stuff and then I realized that it, it wasn't sticky anymore like now it's not sticky at all Website, if you spend $50 you get free shipping even international however the thing about international shipping is you should know especially if you live in the UK you have to pay custom charge I paid 20 pounds for custom charge which makes up for the shipping I guess uh, which was okay I actually didn't mind it it's different from Morphe brushes in terms of Morphe brushes charges you about 20 pounds 20 dollars sorry about 20 dollars for shipping and then you have to consider the fact that you still need to pay um, custom handling charge in Royal Mail so with this you don't pay for shipping if you spend 50 dollars and you, you will definitely pay for custom charge so just bear that in mind if you live in the UK, you've got friends that are interested in the collection, you guys can all buy it together and probably split the custom charge. You definitely get free shipping because obviously if you're buying it with another person, you, you're bound to spend about $50 and get free shipping. 
I hope this was helpful. Um, this is a nice, um, I would say is a luxury product. It's not just the packaging that is nice. The product actually works well on my eye. I'm happy with the, the look that I've done. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. Don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, thank you so much. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.